This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. So you just bought your brand new iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Pro, whatever you've got, and you are looking to get the best battery life out of your phone. There's a few ways to do that, and I'm gonna go over those right here in this video, so stay tuned, watch till the end so you get all of the tips. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is something that not a lot of people talk about, and me personally, this seems to be one of the best things that I have done for my battery life, and that is to turn off auto brightness, and I keep my brightness just above the sun. Now, obviously, I am recording a video, so I have it a little bit different, but I keep this just above the sun ray like that, for my brightness and I turn auto brightness off. If I'm out and about and I need it super bright, I turn it all the way up, but for the most part, I keep it low. That really helps preserve your battery life. Another tip is to use dark mode. Of course, I'm not for the video, but I always do. The OLED pixels in your phone will actually turn off for any black on the screen, so it can save a little bit of battery life over time. All right, now let's hop into settings and we're gonna modify a few things here. So the first thing you're gonna wanna change when you open up settings, you're gonna wanna go into battery here and you're gonna to wanna to make sure battery percentage is turned on. That will give you the little percentage icon up there in the top right. Next up, we gotta talk about low power mode because some people seem to think that keeping this on will help your battery life long-term, but realistically, all it does is throttle your phone. It turns off a lot of things in the background and it makes your iPhone experience worse. So why would you wanna do that unless you really needed to? Only turn on low power mode if you're below a specific percentage, like 20%, you know you can't get to a charger. Or if you know you're going to be out at a cabin all day with no electricity and you're at 100%, uh, just turn it on early. Also put on airplane mode so your phone's not searching for a signal. That way you can preserve your battery life. But for day to day, people that keep that on are ridiculous. You should not keep that on all the time. It just hinders your iPhone's features. Why would you do that? You just spent a thousand bucks on the phone use it. All right, enough with that. Next up, you're going to want to go down to your battery chart here and see if anything out of the ordinary has been taking up too much of your battery. Now you can see here overnight, it looks like FaceTime was on all night, but it wasn't actually screen active. So this is actually a bug. Uh, the screen was turned off all night, but FaceTime was on. Then you're going to want to look at your last few days. And you're going to want to look for any anomalies here. So everything here looks good to me. Uh, this is pretty much how I use my phone, so everything looks good. Then you're gonna wanna scroll up just a bit and hit battery health and charging. Here, you can see your maximum capacity. Mine's at 100%. You can also see if you're at peak performance capability, which you always want it to say. If it doesn't, you probably need to replace your battery. Charging optimization, I have mine set to optimized battery charging, but you can choose 80% limit or none. I definitely do not recommend setting it to none, but 80%, eh, that's kind of for the super paranoid. Your phone will never charge past 80% if you choose that. Might prolong your battery a little bit, but not worth it to me. Clean energy charging, I turn that off because there's no use for that. You can see right here, it is telling me to turn on auto brightness, but again, I told you, I manually keep mine low. If you have a problem keeping yours low, just keep auto brightness turned on. If you have some self-control and you don't wanna burn your retinas out, I keep mine set to off. And to do that, by the way, you have to go into accessibility, then display and text size, and you have to scroll all the way down and then you'll see auto brightness. They bury it deep in this menu. They don't want you turning it off. I don't know why, but that's where it's at. Next up, something that's really gonna help your battery life is if you turn off background app refresh. So open general and then click background app refresh, keep that off. I've had that off for my entire usage of iPhones since the beginning of time, and it's never caused an issue. It does not affect notifications. It's completely separate. Keep that off, you don't need it. Next up, you're gonna wanna make sure that your software is up to date. If you are not up to date on the newest software, your battery life is likely going to suffer because Apple makes tweaks constantly to improve battery life with iOS updates. So keep that up to date and you should be good to go. If you stay on an older version, first of all, you're more likely to get hacked because the exploits have not been patched. That is terrifying. And secondly, your battery life will probably suffer over time because those improvements to the code have not been added to your phone. Next up, believe it or not, your iPhone storage can actually affect battery life. Now, let me explain. If your storage is super high, your phone has to constantly try to move temp files out of your storage to make room for new temp files or new things you're trying to save. So what you're gonna wanna do is keep your iPhone storage at least one fourth open. So you wanna keep at least 25% of your storage open at all times if you want optimal battery life. This will also speed up your phone as well because the swap and cache files will be easier to manage 
for your phone if you do have some space open. If you don't have space open, it's gonna struggle and it's gonna slow your phone down. So keep that in mind. This is something no one ever thinks of. Next up, this is a big one. You want to reboot your phone every now and then, probably once a week. Uh, once a month is probably fine for most people as well, but once a week, if you really want to make sure there's no glitches, when you do a reboot, it's going to clear out all the bad caches. If you had an app that maybe was acting up, this should clear it out and get rid of any temporary files that are causing issues. Now there's two ways to reboot. One way is press and hold the volume up and the power button at the same time like this, and then slide the power off. The better way that I like to do that really clears out everything is a hard reboot. This is not gonna make you lose any data, but it will almost certainly fix your issues. You press volume up, volume down, you just press them, you don't hold them. Volume up, volume down, and then hold the power button. So it looks like this, volume up, volume down, and then hold the power button. Keep holding, keep holding. I'm gonna stop it here because no point in doing it, but you keep holding it. Even on this screen, you just keep holding that power button, screen will go black, keep holding it. You'll see the Apple logo, that's when you let go. Super easy to do. Do that about once a week, once a month, and you should be better off. Next up, you wanna look at your notifications and you wanna turn off any apps that you do not need. So I've turned off a bunch here, but you need to go through your apps and turn off any notifications for apps that you don't care about or don't want. It's also a good time to delete some apps that you don't need as well, because every notification that comes through is going to use a little bit of your battery life. Of course, you can also turn off vibration on your phone, but I don't recommend that. Obviously, every time a notification comes in, it vibrates your phone, but if you just turn off the unnecessary notifications, you shouldn't need to do that. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to go into privacy and security and click on location services, scroll all the way down until you see system services. Make yours look like mine. Uh, you do not need anything else. Any other toggles turned on here is going to basically waste your battery life and send location information to Apple. Kind of creepy, also a waste of battery. Next up, you're gonna wanna watch our other video right here. That is going to tell you how to block all ads in Safari. Ads, as you know, will take up extra resources on your phone and waste your battery when you're browsing the web. So all you do is follow that video, go into extensions and turn on your ad blockers and you won't see any more ads in Safari and your battery life will thank you. All right, now this is a pretty big one, guys. You're gonna wanna go into settings, click on display and brightness, scroll down, and like I said, first of all, keep it in dark mode, but scroll down until you see auto lock. I keep mine on five minutes. If you set it to 30 seconds, it's gonna be annoying. If you set it to never, you're gonna forget and you're gonna set your phone down and it's just gonna burn out the battery life, possibly damage the OLED display. So keep it set to five minutes. That seems to be the sweet spot so you don't have to keep tapping your screen to keep it awake. But of course it will lock if you need it to. So after five minutes, it's gonna lock. Next up, this is something that a lot of people don't think about. When you're using 4G or 5G, that's gonna use a ton more power than Wi-Fi. So stay on Wi-Fi as much as you can. If you turn on your hotspot, that's also going to kill your battery life. So if you notice bad battery life, check, make sure your hotspot is off unless you need it and make sure you're on Wi-Fi when you need. Poorly performing VPNs can also impact battery a little bit. So keep that in mind. If you do need a VPN, I recommend Proton VPN, especially if you need a free one. They have a free tier that never costs anything, uh, but I pay for it and I like that service. So Proton VPN is pretty good. All right, and lastly, this is a big one that a lot of people seem to forget or mess up. I see so many people with their iPhone and they have that little arrow icon, meaning something's tracking them in the background. You don't want that. Uh, unless you really have to have it for some reason, you want location services only being used when it needs to be used. So to change this, go into privacy and security and then click on location services and make sure these are set to never or while using. Don't set any of these to always unless you really have to. There is almost no good reason for that. So make them set to while using or never. That is a huge tip that should save you a lot of battery life. And last little tidbit, turn off tracking. So make sure allow apps to request a track is turned off so that apps aren't tracking you and building a profile on you that is creepy. You don't need to waste your battery life on creepy features. So that's all I got for this video, guys. Of course, I will make a part two very soon if I need to with more tips and tricks. So be sure to subscribe, like the video if you wanna see more like this. So that's all I got for this one, guys. Thumbs up, subscribe, peace.